What's good with the YouTube? You already know, Big Flocka with a convicts reaction where we smash, dash, and react. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire reactions. Once again, we gotta do it again. WAC 100, man, exposes runners from Runners Collective, man. You know what I'm saying? That boy's one toe down because he's ready to run at all fucking costs any moment. Forget those toes back that way. Anyways, so, WAC 100 was responding to an apology that Runners Collective tried to do towards American Cholo. And, and as we already know, we discussed this, man. It was a fucking fake apology. He's trying to save face. He's trying to save his channel. He's trying to save his YouTube career. More and more people are going in on him. Haters World, you know, didn't, doesn't even want to mention his name, man. Um, other channels as well have sit there and put a lot of things out there. And let's just keep it real on this, right? Runner from Runners Collective is not the only one who sat there and put out this information. You had uh, Sonny, you had Marvelous, which I'm not going to really speak on them. I have no issues with those dudes, but they should have put more uh, research into this. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just a bad look for a lot of people right now, man. And it just, what's going on is everybody's looking back to past issues that people may have had towards AC. And that's what it looks like. It looks like these are just people who've had past issues or conflict with AC. And as soon as they thought that they had some information that they could put out there, they ran with it. You know, um, you know, a lot of these channels are going in on these guys. But Runner, man, Wack 100 had the fucking straight screenshot of the shit. So I don't know this dude. Keep on liking. You know what I mean? Keep putting my name in your mouth. It instantly, fucking Runner went fucking private. So he's feeling the backlash for this, man. See, people are recognizing the truth behind fucking Runner now. I've said this a long time ago. And the thing about this dude was he always tries to get ahead of stories with lies, um, you know, devious tactics, and never takes accountability. And see, I've had my issues with him, and see, like, this is how I've always been. I've never chose to put shit out there until shit gets attacked with me. So this dude will get ahead of stories and try to create a narrative or a, a perspective of how, you, how he wants people to perceive you as to try to discredit you. You know what I'm saying? But it's not working. People are seeing fucking running for what he is, and for what I said this whole fucking time, a fucking fake, okay? Now, like I said, there's other channels who I think are just as much accountable. It's just Runner had a bigger platform, and he lied about other stuff, man. You know, he was the one re reaching out to Wack 100. I got the PW, whoa, 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 all this stuff. He got so excited when he seen this that he was ready to run it instantly, man. You know, he's known to do that stuff, man, to... You know, be the first to try to run a story. We all have at times, right? But he doesn't he have no type of investigational skills, probing. He thinks that all his resources are well established. And see, American Cholo is what Runner from Runners Collective wishes he was. But he can't be. No matter how hard he tries to do, he can never achieve the things that American Cholo has set out to achieve. And that's why American Cholo has a bigger platform and is more well respected in the, uh, in the social media world. You know, it doesn't mean I agree with everything fucking AC does, but I do respect him, man. And I've said that time and time again, even when I've had my differences with him, man. Um, and see, it's people like Runner that give those of us who've had a past life, who are trying to live right today, a bad name. Let's just keep it real. He's not, he's, give, he's giving people from a fucking north looking like, like shit now, like a joke. I mean, you can say what some of us did are some of our choices, right? But that doesn't affect a lot of people. That's between us and them, and that stays there right this is something you think you represent for all the people you know what i mean i've heard fucking remarks where he says fucking the north hate me but the south love me the south don't love you boy just because you rock with a few people from down south that are misled by some of your fucking antics a lot of those are going to be fucking leaving you at wayside or fucking you know band you all together man because i think if they know what's good for them is to basically disassociate themselves from you Especially if you live in Southern California, man, because there's a lot of fucking heat for what you did. There's a lot of attention. There's going to be a lot of people answering for that. And I've seen a couple other videos, you know, which channels I have no issues with. But let's keep put this out there. And any active South Sider will probably agree with me on this. South Siders don't show their paperwork to nobody. Only their own people. So all that requesting for Gil to fucking clarify his fucking paperwork and to confirm that it's not him. We know it's not him, number one. But number two... He doesn't have to show his fucking paperwork to anybody but other Southsiders. That's his business. 
know what I'm saying? So people need to quit trying to create that narrative that, hey, let's see your paperwork, Gil. Nah, if he throws that paperwork, he's going to be in trouble with his own people. Southsiders shouldn't even fucking be making that request, especially on those social media platforms. That's a fucking fact. They don't show paperwork. They're not supposed to, okay? Only to their own people. Now, Wack 100, man, he said he got a lot more on fucking Runner. You know, uh, it goes back to the when they first started having the conversation. Wack 100 reached out. Wack 100 never reached out, right? He reached out to Wack 100. He tried to portray like they had some type of fucking relationship and that they were fucking talking all the time. And as soon as fucking Wack 100 gave them any attention, all the negative stuff that was fucking put out on previous videos, you know what I'm saying? Fucking went out the window. You know what I'm saying? What is it, man? Either you fucking, you, you at war with this dude or you're not. Like me personally, I don't like Wack 100's antics, right? He's stirred up a lot of fucking shit and he has to answer for that shit. Now, can he rectify his, himself? Can he fix it? Anybody can fix it, especially fucking nowadays, man. But that's up to Wack 100 to fucking fix it. And his ego is so fucking big that fucking maybe he doesn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I hope he real. I hope he starts to rethink his decision making and his choice of words, and maybe do the right thing. And so maybe other people could put this all behind them. But that's kind of a that's a long order asking a fucking Wack 100, man. But um, he did he did put fucking runner on blast, so man, and that. See, the runner made it seem like him and fucking Wack 100 were in cahoots, right? And blamed everybody else. No sense of any accountability, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're all subject to making mistakes, but that's a big mistake. And I think Haters World said it best. Apology isn't fucking wanted because you could have had a motherfucker toe tag over that. That's how serious this shit could get, man. And that's what people forget about is that this stuff could get really serious. I know Dub said this in his video yesterday about fucking, you know, hey, people, this could get real serious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, respect to Dubs, but respects to Dubs. He's done nothing to, to run around. He's always been respectful. But Dubs, you got to look at your, your fucking partner or ex-partner, I think. I don't know at his actions, bro. He brought that upon himself. He doesn't know when to stop. And he'll push that envelope. And when you're associated and attached to that, people start to look at you in the same limelight as they do fucking runner. You know what I'm saying? And that's true. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? The same way fucking Runner tried to have everybody disassociate themselves with me for whatever reason he tried to paint. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at it, man. You know, uh, especially, you know, some people have to live down, down in Southern California, man. So I wouldn't be surprised if people start to disassociate themselves. You can't argue with facts. You know what I'm saying? And this goes back to all the stuff that's been building up to this. Him reaching out to people fucking trying to slander my name behind my back. Him getting at other people, trying to have people trolled, including me. Him doing this now with fucking American Cholo. Him fucking lying. Straight lying. And we've all witnessed all these lies, man. You know what I'm saying? So Dubs has to really take a step back, maybe for a couple more days, and really rethink how he's going to fix this. You know, and I know fucking Dubs has gotten a lot of support um, from Gunner or Runner. And he owes a lot to his channel being built up because of fucking Runner. But don't sell yourself, don't sell yourself, man. Don't compromise your morals about who you should be from where the places you've been and accept the things that runner's doing. You may not see those, those, uh, uh, the, these sides of fucking runner, but now they're all coming out and you can't sit there and say, oh, I don't see it because it's right there in front of your eyes, man. Anyways, um, back to the whack 100 thing, man. It's, it's comical, man. This fool's community or, or fake fool's community, right? I think that they're a channel that's set up to cause dissension and issues and conflict within the fucking either hoods or race relationships. I really seriously think that, man. And so everybody needs to look at that because I've heard that that's their whole angle and their whole agenda. You know what I'm saying? Someone said that fucking potentially WAC 100 may have some, some secret ties to them. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you think that uh, all this wasn't done with ulterior motives as far as even whack 100 going up to fucking homeboys pad i guarantee you man there was people not that far far away and they weren't fucking goons they were other people a lot of people were trying to cover their ass behind all these beef and issues and stuff man and it just it all stems from people fucking speaking out and talking when they don't need to talk about certain things man you know what i'm saying um so i, I have no political affiliations with anything so uh 
but I don't forget my background. And the things that I'm seeing, it's a fucking disgrace, man. It's a disgrace. And you can sit there and say everything about me, man, but my thing was on a whole higher level that's fucking way different than what people here in this YouTube community would ever experience or be about. It's a whole different life, man. And, um, you know, shouts out to fucking American Trollo for, uh, you know, standing strong. You know what I'm saying? I, like I've always said, man, I've said this for like the last year, ever since, uh, you know, uh, actually talking to fucking Gil before one time and uh, getting a, a clear understanding, you know, he gained a, a person who's a, I'm a silent supporter of Gil, if that makes sense. I don't go fucking talking to him. I don't go fucking promoting or advocating for his channel, but the things that he does do for the community, I'm over there, I support him. I'm just not a cheerleader. I'm just not on, on his biz or, or in his channel. And it's a shame that other people want to tear that down, you know. With that said, man, boy, Flacco Convict's reaction, man, I can't wait to see what WAC 100 drops next, man, because he said he got some more shit in regard to that boy running. With that said, I'm gone.